it's like it, it's it's so obvious that I should be catching these guys. obvious I think people will see it now damn it's pretty nice it's a beautiful sunset especially since my raft is right there next to it $2,000 ocean rowing established in the late 1800s has remained one of the most unconventional ways to travel the seas and after traveling the globe over the last decade I believe it's got the ability to be the first vessel of its kind to circumnavigate the world without any land transfers. That's me, Adventure Aaron. And despite my lack of experience, I'm on a dedicated journey to overcome my mistakes in life and see if it can be done. While I'm starting with no backing, camera crew, or team member, I'm bringing you with me as I continue to share the stories of all the humanity that exists from the people I meet along the way it's that unconventional travel, leaving those unforgettable memories, maintaining a perspective I call sea level. All right. So now we got to find the goods out of food. Out of flares, I inflated the life raft to see if it had any. We may be in business. There's food in here, we win. If there is no food, we lose. Okay. Looks like a knife. Which way are we going? We're going south. I'm not sure what this is, looks like a splint sock. Slowly closing in on my distance to shore, I'm still out of food. Come on man, there's gotta be food in here. How could there not be food in here? How could there not be food in here? Unfortunately, I found no food. So that's that. Guard and let them know I am out of food. It's time to row. Damn it. The only thing in there that it was useful was fishing line and water. With a compounding list of items going wrong, the communication options I had were becoming limited. Luckily, I can still stay positive seen the sun, bringing it all back to the beginning. And more so, the one go-to for me is the sun. My friend, my power, my higher being. To define what a sun harvester is, here's a story within. Today 
if you can see behind me, Smiles and I are finally off to polish her up and get her energy back because the solar panels that have been on there for eight years, I don't believe are working. And after a lot of research and digging and redigging and figuring out things that I have no idea about, Smiles and I have somehow come across a gentleman by the name of Justin from Panels Up. And he and his wife sent me probably the most moving email I've ever received and offered to pay it forward and, and, and help me. We're capable of a, a PV voltage of 75 volts. Um, and basically what that's gonna allow you to do is if, if you had 220 volt, watts worth of panels, you could connect them to this. You know, you're always going to have access, you know, to, to, to be able to harvest that unless, you know, I mean, you're going to have cloudy days. Cloudy days, but automation. Automation because of the kindness of a stranger. I hope we can get you new batteries. I'm not real happy with this. <laughs> <laughs> Still a perfectionist after 12 hours. 12 hours of volunteered, unexpected, unassuming time from an unspoken ear. Be able to function, you know, at night in the dark, you know, having lights on. You know, it, it allows people to do what they have to do at night. Bingo. Thanks, Justin. Great idea. Can you imagine? what three more hours of light could do for a classroom in Central America, I can, and I know just the guy, to bring one panel, one control or two, which is less than $100. And that's the power we have to make a difference with a little rowboat named Smiles. And just like that, with the synergy of the philanthropy efforts ready to go, it was now time for the ocean. Three years ago, I used to work with the very girl on TV right now. She did me a favor getting me the job. For whatever reasons, uh, it's not appropriate now for her to do the feature here in San Diego, I'm sure. Kind of conflict of interest, but just um, a good example of how paths have um, grown for those who are ambition, ambitious. and. Uh, just for me, um, it's a real reinforcement for where my life has come, gone, and is going. But it is uh, definitely a moment of reflection. And uh, I'm glad I'm on this journey because I don't think I would have been the best purposed life of my ability. And. Um, been as appreciative as I am for these moments, especially for people like my friend there, Samantha, who is killing it. Unlike my canoe journey, it was clear I was no longer finding the current. It was a matter of staying in it. And with a quick post on social media, and after meeting some new saltwater angels, day one had already started. What's up, Facebook? We are live. And in Mexico, Smiles, Mexico, Smiles, and I have an announcement. My buddy Frank came in town and surprised me and unfortunately he could not go on the vessel to make a run, but when he got a haircut, a lovely lady named Juliana, who happened to be a Marine, uh, made a donation and offered to uh, help in any way and I said well why don't you just come along so without further ado Juliana's here what's up Juliana hey what's up? that's only the beginning of our crazy night and as you can see this is a assessment of what happened last night 
God, I mean, it was a lot. So, hey, Juliana. Hi, Juliana. What up? Okay. That's where she slept last night. This is the damage that was a massive repair in an emergency situation last night because the switch for the switch for the switches, which I've always really hated, uh, malfunctioned. So join me next week as all these items in this crazy timeline start to come together in an effort to see level.